Hey guys, it's me again. Okay, no tour today. Instead, I'm gonna touch on a topic that a couple people have asked about, and but in my own way. So a lot of people have asked about throwing large, and I will actually type up some tips that I have come across over the years. And yes, I have thrown large pieces, um, but I will give you my thoughts on it as to why I don't throw large much anymore and tips as to how to do it if you want to and there's nothing wrong with it there are some fantastic throwers out there and i'm in awe of them um but that being said there is a big difference in throwing this size which okay so let me back up you can see not very large um and i do throw larger than this um and up to about 14 maybe 16 inches um is typically about where I end on my own um, for the most part I don't throw that large very often here is why for my own work um, when I did utility pieces that was fine for the most part when you're using an electric kiln and you're just putting it in letting it ramp that's fine when you are doing alternative firing and having to reach in with tongs move a very hot pot from one environment to another and it is very hot it is very complicated to move it from one temperature range into another environment with tongs and not lose grip of a very hot very heavy pot so for me I don't want to risk that piece of pottery shifting from one place to another there are some big guys out there and some and some really strong ladies I'm not knocking the ladies I've seen some of these, and some of them are really small, really badass, okay, I'm sorry, the language, ladies out there that I have seen hefting these huge pieces, fantastic, kudos on you. I'm not in, my, my set, setup is not set for that. So, I don't lift these huge pieces from my kiln into these other environments. So, I don't do it. Um, I don't like risking my pieces like that. Um... I don't like the losses and that's okay that's on me I will let them do it it's it makes their pieces that much more precious in my mind um, as for utility pieces go for it I have stepped away from the utility pieces I may eventually go back to them but I don't do that right now um, as for throwing techniques I will like I said write up steps how to do it used to do it all the time there are people who throw much larger than me. I think my um, single piece throw limit was, I think, 27 inches because I didn't use extension tools. Um, my limitation was the length of my arm. Um, I could only go as far as my arm would allow. So, you know, there, there's limitations to that. Also, limitations, keep in mind for some people, is your equipment. Um, your kilns can only go so high. My my kiln without me adding extensions to my kiln by additional rings my kilns can only go so high so i could not throw any taller without adding rings to my kiln i could do it um but with a gas kiln that would take more gas and cost more for my pieces so because i would have to heat more space so it would cost more for my customers which it could be obviously it's a bigger piece it would cost more but I had to think for my business what was the better outcome so in the long run I decided that smaller pieces were more viable also having been a person who's trout who've moved who's moved cross-country multiple times um, within a very short period of time I did not like having to move large pieces of artwork. I started out as a sculptor, um, not a potter. Though I did pottery, I studied pottery in school, I started out in sculpting. Um, when you start with four to six foot tall sculptures, you don't like moving four to six foot tall sculptures. There's a reason I switched to small pieces of pottery. Um, and hauling things to and from shows you kind of find out that it hauling things to and from shows or to and from galleries and moving them 
for me, it was easier to transport smaller pieces. Um, now, if I have an arrangement with a set gallery that I know it's going to go straight from my kiln straight to a gallery, I might renegotiate. However, my space, my storage, I don't have large storage space. So unless I have, like I said, a prearranged plan, um, like a custom order or something, I tend not to make large pieces because I don't have the long-standing uh, storage. Um, now, that said, if you want to make those large pieces, go for it. Nothing is stopping you. But be aware, and I'm not just talking height, width, all of those things. Go for it. It's a fantastic feeling to make that really large piece. Things to plan for. Equipment. Bats. Bats are fantastic for throwing, okay, when it comes to large. Because there's nothing worse than making that really, really large plate that you've really always wanted to make. And then you can't pick it up. I'm just telling you. Nothing worse. Um, so, plan ahead. Measure your kilns. <laughs> um, if weight's an issue, figure out how you're going to get it there. Um, if you're going to be at the sculpture, trust me, um, plan how you're going to get it through a doorway. <laughs> if, at, more than once, more than once I figured I had a friend who has had to build part of a kiln around a sculpture, okay? So plan ahead. <clears throat> it came out, it worked. Um, and when I say bats, don't build on a wooden uh a piece of wood if you can't shift it from that piece of wood onto a shelf build it on the shelf if you're going if if that's going to be the case okay build it on the shelf because wooden pieces of um wearboard do not go through the kiln trust me <laughs> i saw a beautiful sculpture for some reason they thought they could put it in the in the kiln <clears throat> and it would just slowly burn down. I don't know why this was a thought. I just came in and an entire kiln just had collapsed because somehow they thought this was a good idea. I did not know this was a plan. I just came in and saw the, the outcome of it. So please don't. But throwing large, not that was sculpture based, but still throwing large is all about preparation. Um, the throwing itself, techniques will be below, but I have nothing against throwing large, okay? I love throwing large. I don't do it any longer um, in my own work simply because of the technical aspects of, from the business point of view, the shipping is more complicated, the storage is more complicated, the transportation and, and, and things like that is more complicated. And while I enjoy it, I don't think it really represents me at this stage in my artwork. Now. Will it come about again? Possibly. We shall see. If someone custom orders something as far as like a memorial piece um, and it speaks to me, if their story speaks to me, I won't say it won't happen. Um, but at this time, you know, I'm, I'm sticking to this size up to, you know, maybe 14, 16, maybe 20 people inches maybe but that's pushing it um and, and things like that if, if you're wanting taller I typically do it with stands and things like that so you know that's my thoughts for me but go for it you know if you have questions message me um there are some amazing amazing fantastic large potters out you know large throwing potters out there ask ask the question um like i said I'll, I'll give you my tips my you know i i've asked the question that's how i learned um you know there there's some great clays out there specifically for throwing large um there's some some great finger uh finger uh maneuvers and and like i said read read up on the tips that i'll have down below um and we'll go from there have a good one bye <laughs>